Hello everybody, Courtney here from How to Loom Your Dragon. Today we will finally be making the new version of the Baby Monstrous Nightmare from How to Train Your Dragon. This is the one loom version. Yay! Many of you have been waiting a long time for this guy. So here he is. Okay, this video is dedicated to Tally, who has been waiting so patiently for a very long time for this video. So Tally, hopefully you're still following me on YouTube. <laughs> it's been so long. Um, so definitely make him and show pictures of him to me on Facebook or Instagram, which you can find in the description. Okay, everybody, so for this project, you need one loom. You also need about 260 of the body color, which for me, I'm going to be using the jelly orange. You'll need about 240 black, that's for the stripes and the horns and the claws. About 110 of the stomach and lower jaw color, which I'm using the mango bands. The mango bands may be discontinued at this point. If they are, you can probably use the neon orange, which is very similar, which is a very similar color. If not, you can always just use the white. Okay. You'll also need four of the eye color, which is yellow about six white for his little teeth and eight pink for the tongue and I believe that is all the colors that you will be needing alright so we are gonna start with his head actually this time instead of the wings we're gonna start with the head so we are gonna start with the lower jaw so I'm using the mango bands here again you can use neon orange as well alright so just follow me here two at a time, going down the center four times. Two, three, four, actually five times, not four, it's five. Five times. Now I'm going to double loop single bands, right? So you're making a figure eight, double looping them. Okay, so all of these were double looped. These were two bands at a time. I'm going to take a single band and I'm going to cap off my end, wrapping it around, creating four loops on the peg there. And now we are going to double loop across here. Double loop here. And now we're going to take two two across here and two across here okay we're gonna make his tongue now so grab your pink we are going to double loop a pink here now we're gonna take three pink like that now we're gonna double loop a pink Okay, so double looped three bands, double loop, double loop, double loop. Here we're gonna wrap a pink band around here, creating five loops around that peg. And five loops around this peg as well. All right, so we're gonna begin to loop the bands. So go down under your capping band and grabbing the double loop band, looping that up. Loop up this one. Up to there, we're going to leave that like that temporarily. And here I'm going to grab this double looped band, loop that, and I'm going to loop up twice here, just like that. This side I'm going to grab the next double looped band, loop 
loop up to here. And then we grab the bottom two bands and loop up. You always want to loop top to bottom. Okay. All right, here I'm going to stop here, and now I'm going to take my hook and take the tongue off. And this I'm going to place right around this peg, just like that. And then I'm going to loop up the final two bands here. Now I'm going to make a tooth. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white band onto my hook, wrapping it around, creating five loops on the hook with it. Take another white band, you're going to double loop it, put that onto your hook, and pull the five loops of the other band onto that double looped band, put the loops of the other end back onto your hook. Then we're going to double loop another white, put that on the end of our hook. Oh, that one's going to break. Let's pick a different one. And, okay. So, double white onto your hook, pull the other one onto there, and reclaim the end. And what we're going to do with this, we're going to lift up the top set of bands here, and we're going to drag that tooth onto those bands and replace them, just like that. All right. Let's make another tooth, because we need one more for the other side, so another white band wrapped around creating five loops. Then double loop a white. Reclaim the loops, and double loop one more. Pull that onto there. And lift up the bands on this side. Slide the tooth on, and replace them. And now we can loop up the rest of the way on each side. Okay, now you're going to take some random colored bands. It doesn't matter what color you're using here because we will take, the, take them off eventually. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in the end here and pull the band through and tie it off. here. So you're just doing a slip knot. You're just pulling the band through the set of bands at the end, putting both loops on your hook, bringing the back one over the front and pulling. So it's like a slip knot. Then you're just going to carefully lift the jaw up. Be very careful because you don't want the double looped bands to break. Okay, it's very important. Don't let the double looped bands break. that off. There's your little lower jaw. Looks really cute. It's going to be so adorable when it's done. Yep. Okay, now we're going to do the top of the head and the neck. Um, first, we got to make some spikes. So, we're going to take a black band onto our hook. You're going to wrap it around, creating five loops with it. Okay, and you're going to take another black. Double loop onto your hook. Pull the loops on, reclaim the ends. This is the same thing we did with the teeth. Now we're going to take your body color, which is the jelly orange, double loop that onto your hook, pull the black onto the orange, reclaim the ends, and then we're going to do a black again. So double loop black onto your hook, pull that on. All right, this is one spike. Okay, you want to make 18 of these spikes. You can put them on a holding hook, on a toothpick. I recommend you get them all done now so you don't have to do them later. Okay, 18 of those, they're all the same. Now, once you've done that, now we can work on the neck and the head. So, I'm going to take three of my body color, which is the jelly orange, right there. And now I'm going to take one of those spikes I just made. And I'm going to put it right onto this peg here. Okay, you can turn it so it's facing down, that's fine. Take three more of your jelly orange here. Now you're going to take three of your striped color, which is black, like that. Now we're going to take another spike. I'm going to put that right around this peg here. Turn it, okay. Now we're taking three 
jelly orange, three jelly orange again. Now take another spike right around that peg, and now we're taking three black like that. Okay. Now we're going to take two of the jelly orange here. Now we're going to double loop the jelly orange. So double loop here, here, here. These are all double looped right here, here. Here we're going to attach a little nose spike. So grab your hook, grab a jelly orange. You're going to wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Now you're going to double loop the jelly orange onto your hook. Pull. Loops on, reclaim the end. Here's your tiny little nose spike. We're going to attach it right on. Oops, this is a little tricky. Here we want to wrap the loops right around this peg. But it's a jelly band, so they're a little slippery, so just take your time. Alright, so I wrapped it around. Now we're going to take one more jelly orange, double loop it, and put it right there. Okay, grab Okay, now you're gonna grab now we're gonna make some horns for him. Okay. So I'm gonna grab a black band. I'm going to wrap it around your hook, creating five loops. Grab another black, double loop it onto your hook, pull that onto there. Reclaim the end. Another double looped black onto your hook. Pull that onto there. Reclaim the end. Another double looped black. Pull on. Reclaim the end. And one more double looped black. Pull on. Reclaim the end. Now we're going to take three blacks. So three black bands on your hook and pull those onto there. Okay? This is one horn. You want to make four, okay? You can just do it just like I just did. After you finish each one, you can just take a random color band and do a slip knot at the end, or you can store them on a holding hook, okay? So, make your four horns. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to take two of them onto my hook. Once they're on your hook, you can pull off the holding bands. Try to have them, they're going to be curved, so put them onto your hook so they're both curving the same direction. Okay. Now you're going to take two of your jelly orange onto the hook and you're going to pull both of them onto the jelly orange. Okay. They're both curved in the same direction. And we're going to put this right on this peg and this peg. You want to put it so the horns are curving toward the center, okay? Actually, it doesn't really matter which way they're curving, because they kind of curve randomly on the dragon, but I'm going to try to make them curve toward the middle. Grab another horn onto your hook, pull off that holding band, and another one. Again, I'm going to make them curving in the same direction. Pull that band off. Grab two more of your jelly orange bands, and we're going to pull them onto there. Okay. This time I'm going to put the loops here and here. Push down. Okay. Now we're going to double loop jelly orange bands. I believe we want this to curve actually like this. 
Now this, put this here. So we are overstretching these two. Um, hopefully they won't break when we loop them. I guess we'll find out. But now you're going to take a jelly orange and you're going to wrap it around this tip peg, creating four loops. Okay. Now we're going to put on the nostrils. So grab two black bands. We put one on our hook, wrapping it around, creating four loops. The other one also creating four loops. So you're going to double loop a black band onto our hook, pulling both of those black bands onto that double looped orange band. You're going to put the loops around this peg and around this peg. Okay, spread the nostrils apart, grab the two bands in the front, pull them over this peg here. Okay, just like that. Alright, now I'm going to make the eyes. I'm going to take a black band. I'm going to wrap it, creating five loops on my hook. You want to then double loop another black band onto your hook, pulling that band on like that. Okay. Now we're going to grab the eye color, wrap it around creating four loops with it, then a black, wrap that around creating four loops with that, then another eye color, wrap around creating four loops with that. Okay. Now I'm going to double loop a black onto my hook and I'm going to pull the three eye bands onto that double looped band like that. Okay. Then I believe I want to bring this on, but yeah, okay, then you're going to pull this on. Okay, then you're going to grab the other end of the loop like that. Okay, and then we're just going to double loop one more black band and pull that whole thing onto there. Okay, so there is one eye. You want to make a second one. Okay, once you've made both eyes, you're going to double loop the jelly orange band, pull the eye on. Actually, we want to pull both eyes on, so hold on. Grab your other eye and put it on your hook so it's facing the opposite direction of the first one. Okay, so the two corners are on the outside. Okay, then then you want to double loop your jelly orange and pull them both onto that. Then you want to put the two end of your jelly orange bands. We're going to put one under the horns. We're going to put it right high up. Yeah. Yeah, alright. We're going to put it here. Hold on, let me check my other guy. One around that peg and the other one around this peg here. Okay, you're gonna spread them apart and then just push them down like this. Okay, and then you just wanna grab the two bands at the bottom and pull them over the hook like that. Okay. Grab another double looped orange and you're gonna put that right like this. Grab another one is going to go right here, and one more is going to go right here like this, okay? Alright, now we are going to loop. So, grab your lower jaw because we're going to need that in a sec. 
you're going to dig underneath capping band to grab the top set of double loop band, bands, which are going to be these guys over here. So underneath capping band, grab, oops. Make sure they don't break. Then you want to grab the ones on the other side. And then the one in the center here. Then you want to... I'm going to go up the edge here. So this guy and this guy. Dig down underneath the nose spike here. This might be a little tricky. Grab the double looped orange from there. Keep up. This one, and this one, this one. I'm doing one at a time in case any of them break. This one, this one. You want to stop here on that side. Gonna also loop up twice here. I'm not gonna loop up to here yet. Twice on this side. All right. So now you're gonna take your lower jaw. You're gonna hold it upside down so the teeth are facing down. The teeth and tongue are facing down. Go through this end. So you're gonna go through the mango loops, all four loops, and you're going to attach it onto this peg so that the jaw is upside down, okay? Then we're going to dig down and we're going to loop up these two orange bands, okay? Then you're going to go to the other side, go through the mango loops on the other side, wrap them around the opposite peg, loop up these two orange bands. Then you want to dig down and you want to loop up these two orange bands here. Don't forget that or you're going to be really sad. Then you want to go through the loops in the center here, wrap them around the center peg. And we want to dig down and grab the three black loops, loop them up. Here, dig past the spike, loop up the three orange, loop up the three orange here, three black, three orange, three orange. Okay, I'm going to grab a random color band. Again, I'm going to take pink. Tying off my loose end here. Now I'm very carefully going to lift up him from the bottom. And hopefully he came out looking alright. Guess we'll find out. <laughs> him look at his little face <gasps> oh see I had no idea what this was gonna look like <laughs> this was kind of a trial around recording and it worked so I'm just gonna continue with the tutorial if it looked bad then I would have just started over but I think it looks adorable <laughs> oh little nightmare baby so cute hee <laughs> hee oh my gosh that is the most adorable thing I've ever seen okay so <laughs> We're going to put him aside while we make the rest of him, okay? So, now we are going to make his wings. Alright. Oh my gosh, I love them. Okay. Take two black bands. Okay, this we're doing two bands at a time, okay? Um, oh, first we want to move, change our loom to the rectangular. Alright, now take two black bands. Two orange, two orange, two black, two orange, two orange, 
two black, two orange, two orange, oops, two black, and two orange going diagonally like this, okay? Now we're going to take two orange, two orange, two black, two orange, two orange, two black, two orange, two orange, two black, two orange, two orange. Okay, now we're going to take two black diagonally like that. Yeah, okay, then two orange, two orange, two black, two orange, two orange, two black going diagonally this way. All right, now we're going to take them. I'm going to use the mango actually as the horizontal bands in the wings because that's what I did with the other wing. So we're taking two at a time of the mango. And we are just putting them on. Now we're going to double loop some mangoes like this. Like that. Okay? Now, we're going to make some of the ridges for the wings. First, let's make the claws. So we're going to take slack. We're going to wrap one around our hook, creating five loops with it. Grab another black, double loop it, put it on your hook, pull this onto here, reclaim the ends, double loop another black, pull it on, reclaim the end. This we are going to place right onto this peg here. Okay, we're going to make another one just like that. So wrapping a black around, creating five loops, double looping a black, Pulling the five loops onto the double looped black and adding one more double looped black. Pulling that on. Okay, then place the loops right around this peg here. Okay. Now we're going to make some little wing ridge ridges. So I'm going to take a black band, wrapping it around, creating five loops. Double loop of black. Pull it on. Now do an orange, double looped. Pull it on, clean. Then do a black. Then do an orange. Okay, this we're going to put right around this peg here. Okay? You're going to make three more of these, okay? I already have mine made. Okay, you need four for each wing, so make three more for this wing. I'm going to put the next one around this peg here. Next one, put around this peg here. And the last one we are going to put around this peg here. Okay, um, now, before we loop this up, I just want you to know that you're going to have to go back and make a second wing once we pull this off. You're going to have to do it symmetrically to this wing. Actually, you don't have to, but it looks nicer if you do because it'll curve the opposite direction. All right, you can technically make it the same way and just put it on the other direction when we attach it, but then the wings will be bending in different directions. So if you don't know how to do symmetrical it symmetrically, then just grab a mirror and put it in front of your screen and do it the way you see it in the mirror, okay?
So I'm going to go under this ridge, grab the two black bands, loop over, grab the next two, which are actually these two in the middle, the two vertical ones. Loop up those, and then grab the last set here, loop those up. Okay, now I'm going to loop up this side. Okay, let's loop up the center here. And let's loop up this side. Okay, grab your random bands to tie off your ends here. Okay, so when we pull this off and you make your second one, if you're doing it symmetrically, it's just going to be like it's flipped, okay? So these two are going to be here, and then this part of the wing is going to be like that, okay? So again, if you don't know how to do it, just put a mirror in front of your screen and watch it in the mirror. Okay. Or, like I said, you can make it the same way as this one but then they'll bend in opposite directions, which might look a little weird. Okay, so once you pull it off, just pull out your little ridges. Okay. So I have my two wings here, so you need to go back and make your second wing. Okay. So I got my two wings. Okay. So we got your head and neck and your two wings. <laughs> so cute. Alright, now we're going to make his legs. <sighs> add an extra set of orange to this one. Hold on one sec, guys. I'm just... Okay. Un momento. Okay, so we're going to change our loom back to the rectangle. Uh, oh, it's already in rectangle. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, grab three black bands. No, I'm sorry, two black and an, and an orange, okay? Two black and an orange. Now you're going to grab three orange. And three orange again. Now two black and an orange. Okay, now I'm going to grab three orange. Like that. Now two black and an orange. Okay. I'm going to take a black band onto my hook and wrap it around creating five loops. Grab another black double loop it onto your hook and pull the five loops onto there. Reclaim the ends. Grab another double looped black onto your hook. Pull that. Double loop body color. Okay. Now we are going to wrap this around this peg. Okay, so it's curving up. If it's curved, you want it to be curving upward. Okay, this little claw. Now we're going to take three orange bands like this. Now you're going to double loop orange here. Double loop another orange here, and one more here. Okay, 
Now we're going to make three claws. So black band wrapped around creating five loops. Double looped black onto your hook. Another double looped black onto your hook. Okay, this we are placing so it is curving downward. If, it, if it's curved, you want it to curve down. Right around this peg here. Okay, we're going to make two more exactly the same for the other two toes. So wrap around creating five loops. Double loop one onto your hook. Pull that on. Double loop another one onto your hook. Pull that onto there. Okay, wrap those loops around this peg. And make one more. Okay, now we're going to loom, so go down underneath this toe, grab the orange band, loop up. Down underneath this toe, grab this orange band, loop up, and let's loop up this one. Grab the three bands, loop up those. Don't grab the toe here, just grab the three bands, loop those up. Loop up these. Okay, here we're going to attach a knee. So all we're going to do is we're going to take a black band, we're going to wrap it five times around our hook. Going to double loop the jelly orange, put that onto our hook and pull on the black, reclaim the loops. Wrap this tiny little thing around this peg and just loop up the rest of the way. So now he's got knees. Ooh. What in the world? All right, you just loop that up. Loop up this one and this one. Okay, grab up your tying band. Put that around, and now we're going to take this off. Okay, this is his knee. So we can pull that out, sort of. And here's his little feet. Okay, so. Here's one back leg. You can make a second one exactly the same. No need to make it symmetrical because it's the same on both. Okay, so make your two little legs. Put them by the head and the wings. And then we are going to do the stomach. Okay. Okay, so grab your stomach color. For me, that is the mango. We're taking two putting them there. Now we're taking two at a time. Here. Mm -hmm. Put two here. Actually. It's fine, we can take um, this out, this has to be offset. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're gonna take two like this and two like this. Now I'm actually going to do nothing. <laughs> Sorry, just kidding. Just kidding, just go down. And just... Being silly here. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six.
grab a mango and just four loops around that bottom peg is good. Now we're going to take two mango bands. Okay. I'm going to put them here. Grab two more here. Actually, this one we're going to double loop. Take a single one and double loop it. Okay, just like that. Sorry. Okay, now we're going to grab two more here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now grab your hook, go down, loop up those top two, then these two, and then these two. Oops, now we're going to loop up these two and these two. Okay. Now I'm going to loop up these. Alright, you're going to grab two black bands and we're going to put them like this. If this lifted off, it's not a big deal. Like, I'll put it back on so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay, loop up here, here, twice on Oops, twice on this side, and once more here. So essentially we just looped up twice on each set. Two more, we're gonna go here. We put twice here. We put twice here. Oops. And loop up these two. Okay, again, taking random color band, tying off your end. And then we are going to lift up They're going to be stripes on his tummy. Okay, once we finish him. So we can put uh, that aside temporarily. Alright, now we are going to be making the body. So grabbing three of your body color, three more body color. Now grab one of your 18 spikes that you made, and we're going to attach it to this peg so it's curving down. Okay, if it's curved, you want it to curve down. Grab three black bands here. Now three orange. Grab another spike. Attach it here so it's curving down. Grab three more orange. Okay, now you're going to grab three black, another spike attaching it so it is curving down. Now we're going to grab two orange, two orange again, two black, two orange. Two orange, two black. Okay, now we're going to grab two orange and we're going to go diagonally like that. Two orange down, then two black. Two orange. Two orange, two 
two black. to orange diagonally. Okay, same thing on the other side. So two orange this way, two orange down, two black, two orange, two orange, two black, two orange diagonally. Now we're going to grab two orange and we're going to put that, these, um, like that. Okay, so that's two oranges there. Now we're going to double loop an orange. And that's going to go, so this is a double looped orange that's going to go here, okay? So two oranges and one double looped orange there. Okay, now we're going to put two of our spikes onto our hook. So grab two spikes off your holding hook onto your good hook. And now we're going to take two orange bands onto your hook and you're going to pull the two spikes onto your hook. Um, actually... Mm, if possible, we want the spikes to be facing opposite directions on that, on those bands. Like, because they're curved. So, well, whatever, it doesn't matter. Whatever, just put them on. And then put the ends on this peg and this peg. Then what you want to do is you want to spread the spikes apart. that you have one in between these rows and one in between these rows, then you can push them so they're facing down. We're going to do that again. So grab two more spikes. They're facing opposite directions, but it doesn't matter that much. Grab two more orange bands, pull them on, put the ends here, and here. Oh, and what we want to do actually is once you spread them apart, you want to grab two of the bands in the center and just bring them over this middle peg. Same thing here. Forgot about that. Not that it's a big deal, but it'll look better if it's consistent. And we're going to grab two more. Double loop an orange this time. Pull them onto the double looped. And we're going to put the ends here and on the other side. So same thing, it's just with a double looped instead of with two. Spread them apart, push them down, grab two of the four loops. Or two of the four, it looks like there's four bands, but you know what I mean, and put them over the peg. Now we're going to grab the wings. So grab your wings. We're going to attach them so they're curving upward, okay? So I'm going to grab this one, it's curving up. Go through the black loops here. Make sure you go through the loops and not, don't go between the loops, go through them. Follow the pink band through. Those go around here and then go through the other set. Those go around this peg, okay? Turn it around and do the same thing with the other wing. Make sure your claws are facing the right way. Like so your two black claws should be facing that way. Okay, don't put the wings on upside down. You're going to grab your guy's head and neck. Hold it so the head is upside down. You're going to go through the four loops that are being tied off. Okay, through the loops, you're going to wrap it around this peg, so make sure your head is upside down. Okay, like that, like he's on his back. Okay, grab your legs, we're going to put those on in a little bit. Okay, now you're going to take your stomach. Figures I double looped the wrong end, but oh well. 
<laughs> All right, that's what we're gonna have to do. Okay, we are going to turn it like this so the stripes are facing down. Go through the loops here, okay? Wrap them right around this peg here. The same peg you wrapped the neck around. Then we are going to dig under that and under the neck to find top two orange bands, looping them over. Dig down, grabbing the next two orange bands, looping them. And then the two black bands here, you're going to loop up. I'm going to loop up again, and again, and again, and again, like that. Now we're going to lift this. Okay, so I lifted the stomach. Now, so now it's right side up, like the stripes are facing up now. Okay, so now I'm going to go through the set of bands on this side. So we have the two bands that are looped here. I'm going to go into them and pull it open. Okay, pull the hole open and wrap it around this peg. Then you want to dig all the way down to grab those two black bands at the way bottom. Oops, figures, they would break on me. <clears throat> well, at least one's still there. Make sure, if one breaks, make sure the other one's still intact and you should be alright. Okay, same thing on this side. For some reason, the black bands are very fragile. Open up, oops, wrong set. Open up the loops on the other side. Wrap them around this peg. Very carefully loop up your black bands. Okay, then we're going to do it with the next set, okay? So pull your stomach a little bit, go through the set of loops next in line on the end there, dig down, loop up, okay, same thing over here, don't worry about the pink bands getting in the way, we can, we're going to take those off after, okay, so essentially we're just going Down the line. Wrapping the bands around. Okay, when you get to this point, you can lift him up a little bit at a time. Don't lift him up too much, though. Okay, be very careful. I'm just going to lift him up a little bit just to keep the bands from overstretching. Then we're going to go through the next set and just continue what we're doing. And the next one. Okay, here we can lift him up a little bit more. Don't. Oh. Um. Hold up. Sorry. Just kidding. Undo this, these two, and these two, and then just pull the stomach up. I forgot to attach the legs. Figures. I'll have to put a note in the video. Hopefully, you're using a device that shows the notes. If not, then you'll just have to unloop these couple bands. Okay, here we're going to grab one of the back legs. You're going to turn it so the knee is facing down. You're going to go through the loops. Okay. Knee is facing down. Okay, wrap it like that. Okay. Same thing on the other side. Knee is facing down and the leg is facing outward. Okay. Now we're going to go through this next set of loops here. Sorry, that was my mistake. Okay. Now we want to dig down and loop up the next set. Okay. <laughs> 
I don't know if it broke, but if one breaks, it's not the end of the world because you have a bunch more. All right, next set in line, wrapped around here. Same thing on the other side. Wrapped around the other side. All right, now I can loop up these two and these two, and then you want to pull this down and loop up these two here, don't forget. Then I'm going to just go through my little capping band here. Go through all the loops of the capping band and wrap your capping band right around the end there. Okay, just like that. Then you want to dig down and you want to grab the three black bands at the bottom. This is so tricky and you don't want to break him. Okay. Just loop up the rest of the way. And tie off this because we're not quite done with the tail yet. And then very gently we are going to lift him with our hook. I have a couple of broken bands in mine, but luckily we use two bands at a time, so one broken band won't ruin the whole project. Yay. Okay, so now we just want to <laughs> adjust him a little bit, so pulling out the broken bands. Alright, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to pull off the tying bands that are around the wing. So that one. And this one. And this one. And this one, and the one around the base of the neck here. Okay. Can pull up his little spikies. He should have two rows on his back. Very cute. You want to pull off the bands around the legs here. I guess this one that was around the stomach. We're going to pull that off too. You can kind of squeeze his tummy <laughs> and he'll have a little pot belly because he's a baby. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to finish his tail and then he'll be done. Yay! Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take double looped orange, double looped orange again here, grab one of your little spikies, attach it here so it's curving down, grab a double looped black, like that, double looped orange, Another spike curving down. Okay, double looped orange, double looped black, another spiky curving down. Now double looped orange, double looped orange. They're spiky. Okay. 
Now you want to double loop a black. Now you want to take three orange. Attach a spiky. Now three orange again. And three black. I didn't need to go diagonally there, I thought I did, but whatever. And one more spiky we're going to put right here, curving down. Then just grab your guy, you're going to put your hook through the loops in the end of the tail here. You can pull off that tying band. You're going to attach him so he's upside down, okay? So make sure the body is upside down. Okay, straighten it out if you have to. Dig down, grabbing the three black bands, then three orange bands. I'm going to lift this because the band's going to break if I don't. Okay, dig down underneath the spike. This, dig down underneath this spike. These, you want to make sure these double looped bands don't break. And then we're just going to take an orange, slip knot the end, and we're going to carefully pull him off. <laughs> and there he is. He is so cute. You can kind of adjust his spikes if you want to. Okay, with this orange loose band at the end, I'm going to pull it tight. And I'm going to weave it back and forth through the tail. So I'm going to go through the second set of orange here. I'm going to pull it through. I'm going to zigzag it through the end of the tail just to hide it. You're just going to keep going until it's hidden. Okay, and there you go. Sometimes the tail might be a little tangled, but you can just use your hook and even that out. There's your cute little baby nightmare, okay? Your new version, your single loom baby nightmare. You can wire him up, okay? I think he's so cute. I hope you love yours. Tally, thanks for your patience. I hope you love this baby, and I hope he was worth the wait. So definitely, if you have two looms, make the mama or the daddy. That's on my channel. The lighting is kind of bad in that video, but uh, it turns out pretty cool if you do it. Okay, everybody, so there you go. Thank you for your patience with this baby nightmare. Okay, and definitely post pictures on Facebook and Instagram of him. Okay, I hope you enjoyed, and have a wonderful day. I'll see you next week for the next video.